Hello everybody and <clears throat> welcome to the very first ever um, Kangaroo English language games. Um, hello there, my name is Christian and um, tonight we, we're going to find out who will be the winner of three months uh, worth of free access to the Kangaroo Academy. Um, so, to play um, language games is very simple. On your laptop, or on your PC, or on your tablet, you need to watch this live stream. And then on your mobile telephone, okay, you're going to go to the website kahoot.it okay kahoot.it or you can even scan this QR code which is on the screen as well okay and then you just need to choose your um, your nickname and then you are ready to play so we're going to wait for probably five or six minutes for all of the players to join and then we will begin. Uh, so I'm also going to put the pin, uh, the pin number in the chat for everybody. Okay. Um, So putting that in the chat, okay, uh, replace pinned message, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, so to play tonight, you need to, um, uh, on your mobile phone, go to the website kahoot.it, choose your nickname, and then um, you will be ready to play. Tonight, uh, we're going to be learning uh, some idioms, we're going to be doing some stuff with phrasal verbs, and we're going to be doing a lot of vocabulary things. Um, so, as I said, we're just going to wait um, uh, <clears throat> five or six minutes for everyone who wants to join, uh, to join, and then we can, we can start. Okay. Um, we have a maximum possible um, amount of players of 2,000. I don't think we will have 2,000 players tonight, but uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Um, also, um, if it's easier, you can also scan the QR code, which is um, at the top of the screen. Uh, which will take you directly to the game and you'll be ready to play. So again, um, for those people who have just joined, let me repeat one more time how you can participate. Okay, so on your laptop or your PC or your tablet, you need to watch this live stream, okay? And then on your mobile phone, you need to go to the website kahoot.it, okay? And it will ask you to enter the PIN number and uh, to choose a nickname, okay? So the PIN number here you can find at the top of the screen. And um, if you prefer, you can also scan the QR code, which is um, at the top of the screen. And then you will be ready to play 
by answering the questions on your mobile phone. Okay. Um, so again, I'm just going to wait just probably two more minutes, okay? And then we're going to start. So if you want to play, um, now is the time to join, okay? Just going to wait a couple more minutes for the final people who want to participate to um, to join in, and then we're going to start. Now. Um, just to let you know, it is possible to join um, during the game at any time, okay, but uh, probably um, <laughs> uh, probably you don't want to, to do that because you will probably not have a chance of winning, okay, because um, you need to answer um, as many questions as possible correct to win tonight. Um, okay. So, all right. Okay, you would like me to uh, turn down the background music. Okay, no problems. Let me just adjust the volume of that, if that's annoying. There we go. Isn't that, oops, no, I don't wanna do that. That's much better, right? <laughs> much, much better. Okay, um, so guys, I'm, I'm only going to wait another 60 seconds, okay? So we're going to start the games in 60 seconds. Um, again, for people who, people who want a final chance to join tonight, let me explain how to join. It's very simple. So on your laptop or your PC or your tablet, you need to watch this YouTube video, this stream. And then on your mobile phone, you need to go to the website kahoot.it and enter the PIN number which is at the top of this screen. Then it will ask you to, um, uh, to choose a nickname. You choose your nickname and then you are ready to play. It's that simple, okay? So I'm just going to wait 30 seconds and then we're going to start, okay? Um, at the moment we have 125 players. So I think tonight we're going to have a good competition. Okay, just another few seconds and I'm going to start, okay? So if you want to play, this is your final opportunity. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, the games are now starting. Welcome everybody. Uh, firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for, for joining tonight. Um, so this is the first ever uh, language games. Um, the first ever. Um, and I just want to tell you some important information first. Okay, so you must answer the questions on your device, on your mobile phone. Do not answer the questions in the chat on YouTube, um, do not answer them any other place, only on your phone, okay? Um, all of the questions have a time limit. Now, it's important for you to be correct, okay? But it's more important for you to be fast, okay? Um, some of the questions tonight have double points. So these are opportunities for you to um, jump up on the leaderboard. Um, the winner tonight must email me a screenshot um, of their, of their um, winning screen to claim their prize of three months uh, free in the academy. 
And uh, finally, um, obviously, there's an opportunity for you to cheat, okay? There's an opportunity for you to maybe have a friend who speaks fantastic English or to use the internet to look for answers, but if you cheat, you're only cheating yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, fire, next, next, next. Okay, the prize. So, the winner tonight will win three months of free access to the Kangaroo Academy, okay? Um, which has hundreds of hours of uh, video courses about grammar, vocabulary, read, write, uh, writing and reading, everything. Also, there's a hundred, more than a hundred hours of live classes every month with, with an amazing team of teachers. And the Academy includes the speaking challenge, the book club, film club, business chat, and more. So the winner tonight will receive all of those uh, things for three months. Um, this is a very quick overview of the format of language games tonight, okay? So part one, we're going to be looking at some idioms. Part two is called, what's the link? Part three is about wordplay, and part four is word association, which is our speed round. Okay, now, just to check that everything is working correctly, that, um, that you don't have any technical problems, that you understand how to play the game, this first question is a test question, so you can understand what it feels like to, um, to play the game. But this question has zero points, okay? So don't worry if you get it wrong, okay? So here's our first question. Where was the pineapple pizza invented? Was it invented in Greece, Canada, the United States, or Italy? So again, um, just to be clear about this, it's very simple, just Answer the question on your mobile phone, okay? And um, and then we will uh, we will see um, uh, we will see who's the winner. So um, uh, yes, uh, this says uh, twenty five seconds. You can see that this here is the amount of time left on the question. So we have. 20 seconds left. We have um, different options. Greece, Canada, United States, or Italy. Where was the pineapple pizza invented? Here we go. We're going to find out in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and... Okay. Only 11 people got it, got it correct. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> so yes, um, the pineapple pizza was invented, um, was invented in uh, Canada, okay? And um, let me show you, this is the man who invented the pineapple pizza, Sam Panopoulos, who was born in Greece, but he, um, uh, but he m moved to Canada and... Um, now he is hated by millions of Italians <laughs> for inventing the pineapple pizza. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. So now we are going to start with the real game, okay? So everybody get ready. This is part one about idioms. Now, in these idioms, one of these images will appear, okay? So we have Socks, a board, a chopping board, some china, a bullet, some chips, some nails, a kite, mustard, and a plug. Okay, so that is the vocabulary that you are going to need to complete the idioms in this part of the game. Okay, so here we go. Question number one. Netflix pulled the what on the show after three weeks. So, what did they pull? So, you have to choose one of these images. 
okay, one of these pieces of vocabulary to complete the idiom. And we only have five seconds left, so answer quickly. Here we go. Three, two, one, and time is up. Okay, very nice. So we had 59 people got that correct. Well done, guys. Um, it's a very literal metaphor. You pull the plug and the water goes out of the, the drain, okay? Um, okay, so let's have a look at who is on top. Rational Jaguar. Well done, well done. Rational Jaguar followed by Gentle Horse, Great Mouse, Lucky Elk, and Inspired Goat. Okay, well done, guys. Let's have a look at the next question. It was a delicate situation, but she went into the meeting like a bull, like a bull what? In mustard? On a kite? In socks? Or in a china shop? Okay, we only have 15 seconds left, so answer quickly. What is the opposite of being delicate? Mm -hmm. What happens when you are, um, <laughs> when you're not being delicate? Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. 71 people got that correct, so it's like a bull in a china shop, so... In English, China is like a synonym for plates, for ceramic objects. Um, and if you have some very, very, very nice um, <laughs> plates, it's called fine China. And you can imagine a bull in a China shop, that would be a disaster, right? So let's see who's on top. And, ooh, okay. Uh, Gentle Horse has now jumped to first place, Rational Jaguar, Bright Frog, Great Mouse, and Yellow Gecko uh, are the top five. And Swift Macaw has jumped up 35 places. Well done, sir. Well done. Or, or madam, sir or madam. Okay, next question. Put a mm in it. I'm trying to work and you won't stop talking. Ooh, what should you put in it? If you won't stop talking, a sock, a bullet, a chip, or a board? Hmm. Okay, only 15 seconds left, guys. Even if you're not sure, just take a guess, right? You have a 25% chance of getting it correct. Here we go. And... Ooh, okay, 72 people. Very nice, very nice. Um, so again, it's quite literal. No, you, you have uh, your very uh, cheesy and stinky sock and yeah. you put, put the sock in your mouth to basically to shut up, right? Shut up, put a sock in it. Um, okay, 72 people. Let's have a look at the leaderboard and Rational Jaguar is back on top. Gentle Horse, Yellow Gecko, Great Mouse, and Bright Bunny. And Brave Griffin has jumped up 47 places. Very nice. Well done. Well done. Uh, okay. Let's move to the next question. This is for double points, guys. Here's your chance to jump up to the number one place. She won't make any friends walking around with a mm on her shoulder. Which one is it? Bullet, nail, chip, or board? None of them seem logical, right? What a, what a stupid idiom. Walking around with a what on her shoulder? Okay, only five seconds. Here we go. Come on, guys. Come on. And... Oh, very nice. Only 24 people got that one. 24. So, um, probably you know the word chip, right? You have potato chips, hot or cold. But a chip is also a little piece of something, right? Like a wood chip. Or if I have a, a mug, like my beautiful um, koala mug, 
you can see that this has a chip in it, okay? A little piece that is missing. And if you have a chip on your shoulder, it's like a little piece of your past life, okay? A, lot of, a little piece of your life ex experiences that kind of makes you feel negative, right? Makes you feel inferior, yeah? You don't want to have a chip on your shoulder. Um, so 24 people, let's have a look who got that correct. And Rational Jaguar is um, still on top, but Magic Wallaby, Gentle Horse, Amusing Wallaby, and Bright Bunny are now in the top five. And Mountain Squid has jumped up 77 places. Well done, well done. Um, okay, next question, here we go. I hate going to the dentist, but I'll just have to bite the... What do we have to bite? What are we going to bite here? Bite the nails, bite the bullet, bite the board, or bite the mustard? What do we have to bite? Let's uh, think about this. Okay, we only have 10 seconds left. Okay. Okay, three seconds left. Which one is it? Which one? And, ooh, 52 people. 52 people. Well done, well done. Um, uh, you can imagine that uh, biting a bullet is kind of dangerous, right? Because if you, if you bite a bullet, there's a possibility that the bullet will um, explode, right? And you'll die. Um, so that's why biting the bullet means to do something unpleasant that you don't want to do, but it's necessary to do. Okay, let's have a look at the points. And Rational Jaguar is still on top, but Gentle Horse, Bright Bunny, Amusing Wallaby, and Proud Macaw are now in the top five. And Focused, <laughs> focused Chicken... <laughs> has jumped up 40 places. Very nice, very nice. Um, okay, now we are moving on to part two of the games, which is called What's the Link? Now, let me very quickly explain how this works. So, first I'm going to ask you four questions. And the four answers to those four questions are linked in some way, okay? And I'm going to ask you to tell me what that link is, okay? So, let's start with the first question. Roti, corn, and pitta are types of what? Hmm. Insects, bread, foot problems, or shampoo? Hmm. Roti, corn, and pita are types of what? Hmm. Lots of answers, uh, lots of quick answers for that one. Okay, we only have five seconds left. Here we go. And let's see. Okay. <laughs> 116 people got that correct. Obviously, that was too easy. <laughs> uh, that was a type of bread. Well done, guys. Well done. Um, let's have a look at our leaderboard, and Amusing Wallaby has moved up a place. Uh, and also, uh, congratulations to Lucky Sable, who has jumped up 31 places. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so our first answer is bread. Okay, okay, here we go. Next question, um, what is a Dow? Is it a type of boat, a type of clothing, a type of food, or a type of musical instrument? What is a Tao? Hmm. Okay, we only have 10 seconds left, so answer quickly. Even if you're not sure, just take a guess. Okay, here we go. Three seconds left. Let's find out what a Tao is. Ooh, okay, 56 people. Um, yeah, so a DAO, a DAO is a type of boat. Um, 
quite big, actually. Um, so let's have a look at our points and Bright Bunny, well done. Welcome to the top five, Bright Bunny. Uh, and Hero Cat, <laughs> Hero Cat has got three in a row. Uh, well done, well done. Okay, next question, here we go. What do you call a country with elected representatives but without a king or queen? Okay, so we have elected representatives who, you know, who control the country, but there's no king or queen. What do we call that system of government? Is it a monarchy, a democracy, a republic, or an oligarchy? Only two seconds. Here we go. Oh, well done, guys. Well done. Well done, well done. Good government knowledge. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, yes, yeah, so 71 people got that correct. And, oh, we have a little bit of a revolution in the uh, points here. So, amusing wallaby, uh, gentle horse, and inspired goat um, have jumped up into the top five. And five people have unfortunately lost their streak oh no oh no oh no okay no problems no problems let's uh, keep going so this is for double points guys let's make it count so which phrasal verb means end a relationship or a marriage is it break through tear down cut off or split up which one is it which one means to end a relationship or a marriage? Are we breaking, tearing, cutting, or splitting? Oh, okay, only five seconds. If you're not sure, just take a guess. And, oh, 76 people. Well done, guys. Well done. Um, yes, it is to split up. Okay, let's have a look at the points, and Inspired Goat has jumped up uh, into fourth place. Well done, Goat, well done. And um, nine players have got four correct answers in a row. Amazing work, guys, amazing work. Um, so now, here comes the link. So what is the link between the four answers bread split boat and republic so you have to type the answer in your telephone and the answer is only one word okay there's only one word that connects these four things hmm. So we have only 30 seconds left for you to find that link. What could possibly be the link between bread, split, boat, and republic? What a strange collection of words. What could possibly be the connection? Republic? Boat? Bread? What is it? What is it? <laughs> okay, and oh, wow, we have um, so many answers here, but the only correct answer is banana. <laughs> and only three people got that correct, banana. Wow, well done, guys, well done. Let's see who it was. It was the amusing wallaby. The Amusing Wallaby is an amazing player. So, <laughs> now, <laughs> I know that many of you right now are, 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 are sitting, sitting at home going, banana? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> right? So, let me, um, let me explain. Okay, here we go. Here's the explanation. So, banana bread is bread made with bananas. That's easy. A banana boat is an inflatable boat shaped like a banana. 
if you've ever been on holiday and, um, you know, you go on an excursion, you know, to the beach, you can go on one of these um, uh, banana, um, banana boats. Um, a banana republic is a small country that is poor, corrupt, and badly ruled, okay? Like, like England. <laughs> and and um, a banana split is a dessert made of um, bananas cut in half with ice cream, okay? So um, that's how um, banana connects all of those four words, so... That was unexpected, right? Right. Okay, um, now we are moving on to part three, okay, which is our word play. And I need to explain how this works, okay? So, in this part of the game, I'm going to show you the, a picture of a book. And the book has four possible authors. This book is called Robots by Anne Droid. And this is a word play, right? Because android sounds exactly the same as android. Do you see the connection? Robots, android, right? I hope that's clear how, how we're going to play this next part of the game. Okay, so you need to find the connection between the name of the book and the name of the author. And we're playing with our words here, okay? Okay, here we go. First question. Who wrote this book? Hmm. The book is... Um, without Warning. Was it Oliver Twist? Oliver Sudden? Oliver Rapid? Or Oliver Quick? Who wrote this book without warning? Okay, any five seconds left, just take a guess if you're not sure. Just take a guess. And, oh, 56 people got it correct. Okay, well done, well done. Let's have a look at the points. Gentle Horse has jumped up. Okay, now, maybe some of you are wondering why all of a sudden, okay? And the explanation is this, that... All of a sudden sounds exactly like the, um, the phrase, all of a sudden, which is what you can say in English when something unexpected happens, when something happens without warning. Like, um, I was walking down the street and all of a sudden I got attacked by Scarlett, <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> right? All of a sudden, okay. Um, next question, next question. Who wrote this book? Ooh, this book is called The Industrial Revolution. Hmm, but who wrote it? Who wrote this book? Which Otto was it? Was it uh, Magic, Machine, Matic, or Steam? Hmm. Okay, only five seconds left. If you're not sure, just take a guess. Just take a guess. And, ooh, 74 people. Well done, well done. I'm proud of you guys. I'm really proud of you guys. Well done. Um, let's, uh, let's have a look at the points. And, okay, we have a little bit of a revolution here. Okay, we have um, Inspired Goat, Magic Wallopy, Wallaby and Proud McCaw have jumped up into the top uh, into the top five, and Yellow Meerkat is um, is the highest climber. Well done, Yellow Meerkat. And what's the explanation? Well, automatic sounds exactly the same as automatic, right? And the Industrial Revolution was all about things being automatic. Okay. Yeah, that's right. It's a terrible joke. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is for double points. Come on, guys. You can be a winner here. Let's do this. Who wrote this book? 
Okay, the book is Food and Drink at Events. Food and drink at events. Who wrote this one? Was it uh, Turing, Delicious, Gourmet, or Enigma? Okay, here we go. Five seconds left. Be quick. Here we go. Time's nearly up. Oh, 60, 66 people. I'm, I'm very surprised. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. I, I thought that would be really difficult, but you did a, you did a good job. Um, the scoreboard. Oh my God, Rational Jaguar is back. And um, 13 people have just got three answers correct in a row. Well done. And what's the explanation? Well, catering sounds exactly the same as catering, okay? So catering is when you, um, you know, provide food and drink at uh, big events for many people. Catering. Uh, the dad jokes just never stop on my channel. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's move on. Uh, next question. Who wrote this book? Oh, is it... <laughs> is it <laughs> Um, the book is about no work or school. Ooh, okay. Was it... Um, <laughs> I, could, I couldn't resist the blue one. Um, holy... Ho, holy sheet. <laughs> Five. We're three seconds left. Which one is it? Which one? Which one? Oh my god. <laughs> A <laughs> hundred and two people. Yes, 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 yes. Um, of course. Uh, and the points: Proud Macaw, Magic Wallaby, and Bright Frog. Um, well done, guys. And of course, the reason is that holidays is holidays. No work, no school, just holidays. <laughs> um, Okay, and here is our final book. So who wrote this book? Hmm, who wrote this book about the police? Hmm, who wrote the book about the police? Was it uh, cop, jail, order, or arrest? Hmm. Okay, only five seconds left. If you're not sure, just take a guess, right? You, you, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was maybe a little bit more difficult, that one. A little bit more difficult. Um, uh, so let's have a look at the points. Wow, absolutely no change. And now I want to show you why. Because... Law and order sounds basically the same as law and order. Um, in English, we sometimes add this extra um, R where it doesn't exist. Okay, so law and order has an R in it sometimes in some varieties of English. Um, so it sounds the same as, as law and, as law and order. Okay, um, now we are moving on to the fourth and final part of language games, okay? This is word association. And again, I'm going to very quickly explain how it works, okay? So, here you can see three words, blank, list, and mate, okay? And the associated word is check because we can have a blank check, which is an unlimited amount of money. We can have a checklist, which is a list of things that you, know, you have to do. And you can have checkmate, which is uh, when you win, right, in a particular situation. So the word check is associated with all three of those words, okay? I hope that's clear. So you're going to see three words 
and you have to choose the word that's associated with, with those words. Um, something important, this is the speed round. So that means that you only have 20 seconds to answer each question. So it's important to be correct, of course, but it's maybe more important to be fast. Okay, so <laughs> let's go. Here we go. Question one. Which is the associated word? Man, glue, and star. Okay, which is it? Which is it? Which is associated with all of these words? Okay. Only five seconds left. Be quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, well done, guys. Well done. Um, well done, well done. So it's super because we have... Superman, super glue, and superstar. And let's have a look at the points. Oh no, there is no points. Let's just keep going. <laughs> um, uh, quickly, uh, night, uh, wrist, and stop. Which word is associated with night, wrist, and stop? Ooh, which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Let's go. Only three seconds left. Oh, God. well done, guys. Well done. <laughs> well done. Um, so, the correct answer is watch, because we have the night watch, which is uh, when uh, security guards have to, you know, uh, the, or the military have to keep watch. Uh, you have a wristwatch and a stopwatch. Very nice. Uh, very nice. And... The points, here we go, here's the points, and no change. No change at all. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, let's keep going. Speed round. Here we go, next question. Which is the associated word? Rocking, wheel, and high. Is it band, horse, chair, or road? Only 10 seconds left. Come on, come on, let's go quickly, quickly, quickly. Three seconds left, let's go. <laughs> oh, the stress. The, st the stress is killing me. <laughs> so, um, 75 correct answers. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. Um, so yes, you have a rocking chair, okay? Like, you know, the grandma. The grandmother in the rocking chair, okay. Um, then you have a uh, wheelchair for a person with disabilities and you have a high chair for babies. Um, okay, very nice, very nice. Let's have a look at the points and Rational Jaguar has jumped up one place. And Radiant Frog is back in the game, nice. Okay. Here we go. Question 39. Which is the associated word? Cracker, fly, and fighter. Which word goes with all of those? Let's go quickly, guys. We only have 10 seconds left. Let's move. Let's move. Oh, this is a bit more difficult. I can see the hesitation. Oh. But still. But still. Uh, 78 people. I, I am super impressed. Oh my God. That's amazing. 78 people. Uh, yes. Um, Magic Wallaby. Yeah. Got that, uh, moved up one place. Um, well done. Well done. Okay. Here we go. Question 40. Which is the associated word? Measure, worm, and video. Hmm. Okay. Only nine seconds left. Five seconds. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, um, this is a test that... Um, that is actually uh, done by uh, speech therapists. Okay, it's done on um, 
on uh, native English speakers to check their vocabulary. So th these are amazing results. I'm so impressed with your, with your level of English, guys. Well done, well done. Uh, 93 people, yes. Yeah, so we have um, a tape measure, okay? Tape measure for measuring things, a tape worm. You do not want a tape worm in your body. And then of course we have videotape. Probably all of you young people out there, you don't know what videotape is, <laughs> but I remember, because I'm old, I remember going to Blockbuster Video on Friday night and getting the tape. That was so exciting. But now it's just Netflix. There's nothing on Netflix. Nothing. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I'm losing my mind. Okay, um, let's have a look at the points. And Rational Jaguar is, um, is uh, fighting uh, in the leaderboard. Okay, um, <laughs> here we go. Question 41, our penultimate question. Which is the associated word here? Pie, luck, and belly. What is the associated word? Come on, guys. We only have 10 seconds left. Oh, this is more difficult. I can see this is more difficult. Wow. Wow. Only 37 people. Yeah, that was way more difficult. Okay, so let me explain. So we have a pot pie. This is a pie that you cook in a pot. What, what a surprise. <laughs> um, potluck. Um, potluck is actually um, a kind of a cultural thing, okay? So a potluck is when you go to somebody's house and you take one dish, one dish of food. Maybe you take a chili con carne, or maybe you take an apple pie, or maybe you take a, a lasagna, and then everybody shares the food that you bring. Potluck, okay, that's potluck. Um, and then pot belly. That's when you have like a little. I don't, I don't have a, a pot belly. I have rippling abdominal muscles, okay? But I'm not going to show you, <laughs> but yeah. Um, Okay, so um, let's have a look at the points and no change, no change. Now, we are about to do the final question of tonight's language games. Final question. We're about to find out who's going to be the winner tonight. And um, as always uh, in language games, the final question has double points. Okay, so do not give up because you can still win. So here we go. For double points, what is the associated word? Let's have a look. Right, cat and carbon. Mm. Which one is it? Again, kind of difficult. Okay, we're really testing our English here. Okay, we have five seconds left. Just take a guess if you're not sure. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I thought it was difficult, but it wasn't difficult at all. Oh, my God. Amazing. Um, so, yes, we have a copyright. I think we all know what copyright is. A copycat is a person who copies what you do. Okay. And a carbon copy, well... <laughs> you have to be really old to know what a carbon copy is, right? Um, uh, yes, so now we are about to find out who is the winner of tonight's language games. Here is the podium. In third place, we have Proud Macaw. In second place, we have Inspired Goat. And in first place, the winner tonight is Amusing Wallaby. Oh my god. And Rational Jaguar and Magic Wallaby in fourth and fifth. Um, so, 
I'm using Wallaby. What I need you to do is to please take a screenshot um, of your of your telephone and email it to me so that I can uh, uh, organize your three months of free access to the Kangaroo Academy. Uh, congratulations to Amusing Wallaby. And there is one final thing that I want to say before we go, okay? Um, tonight, probably for you, there was many new pieces of vocabulary, many new idioms, okay? But do not have unrealistic expectations. If you can only remember one new thing from tonight, that's enough. Uh, well done, guys. Thank you all so much for joining Language Games, and I will see you again next month where we will crown a new winner. In the meantime, I hope to see you in the Kangaroo Academy where we can have classes like this every single day. Um, otherwise, have a great week, and thank you for coming. I'm Christian, this is Kangaroo English, and I'll see you in class. Bye.